everybody, this is Rockstar TK here, and yes, I will be playing uh, Super Mario 64. So yes, back in 2014, this summer, I did actually do a Let's Play project on that. A series that I did, I did up to 50 stars, and then I glitched my way through the 70 star door for the final Bowser fight. But there are plenty of missions that I obviously have not done. So... I'm just so I'm, I've decided to go back to this game and just mess around on missions that I have not done during that project. So yeah, uh, we're gonna actually go over here to uh, ow, uh, we wanna go to the uh, Dire Dire Docks. Dire Dire Docks. So let's do. Let's we'll use the pole jumping for eight red coins, and this one I I think this would actually be really ideal, uh, just to uh, do the hundred coin mission because that's the one thing we have not done in this uh, in this level or in this place. Now this this is a little bit dangerous, but because uh, you have a stream right or what is it called a whirlpool right behind me, so I wanna. Y'all would make sure you be aware of that, because that's a really strong current to that thing, so... You have to really power swim away from that thing. Apparently it's making it really hard, for, difficult for me to kind of go around it. All these random down currents, too. There's that, too, so you want to be careful. And, whoa, I don't want to go into that thing. Whoa. A stick of coins right here. I can do, you do that. Come on. Help me, please. It's really not very easy to get you know, Mario to control himself properly with this, but it's not impossible. Just in another down current right there. Very careful about that. You know, apparently, I'm running really low on health again, but the coins I got them, so I should be able to. Replen replenish my health there. When, now remember, in this game, if you uh, re emerge back on uh, to the top of the surface of the water, you actually replenish your life like that. In fact, you can even jump into the water just to replenish your life, too. Kind of like a recovery heart, if you will. Some coin rings that will also help for that. So be care always be careful with the stuff that's nearby the uh, that you know water sprout or that water spout or the what do you call it the whirlpool there. Um, Get these coins that are here on the floor, or I would call the uh, ocean floor, if you will. And then here's some yeah, another coin ring right here. I think we got everything. Okay, now we have it all. Okay, another coin ring over here. So as you know, as you can see, you know, the music of this place is also is also really nice. Not only that, but but there's a little bit more and more texture that gets added onto it, depending on exactly where you are. At the very beginning of the level, you know you don't you don't, you don't really get much of texture to it, but you have a little more texture behind this one because a little more harmony gets added into the background of this of the music, but. But believe it or not, the music is going to get a little bit more upbeat later on when you advance forward. And that's what I really like about the stage of this, because then you kind of know, that way you kind of know where you are in the level. Now, I think we have a, a ring of coins on the, on the floor here, so let's go ahead and get that one. So 
so 42 coins. Um, I think that will actually help us a little bit, so we can kind of just go on up to the surface of the water here. Because once you come out of the water, then you're going to have the uh, the more up the so the version is going to turn this song will turn into the more up the upbeat version, where you even get to hear some of the fast rhythm, um, some really nice drum rhythm in the background. You hear it. I'm trying to imagine that whoever is actually playing the drums, they're just like, you know, they're just, they're just like using the symbol, the main symbol, you know, that you usually hit while you're playing the drums. And, uh, yeah, apparently as soon as I say that, um, I fall off, okay? Alright, let's, alright, let's try that again. Uh, No! Okay, well, I guess I cannot do it that way, then let's go the other way then. And not run into that thing over there. Okay. So we're gonna use the uh, eight red coins that we can use here. So the basic mechanics behind using these poles here are just uh, they're just the exact same thing as before. And you have to stay on the poles. And why well, I almost fell off one, but uh, you always have to you know use the control stick to aim to you know to get to the next pole. And, Apparently, I cannot get to the next one right now because I have, I'm not really lined up with it yet. You know. Sometimes it's a little bit of wait to have to do this, so you have to be really, really patient on this. Got it. Okay. Another paralyze, parallelization, I guess. As you, as you can see, I'm kind of just, you know, enjoying the, uh, enjoying the, uh, the simple drum rhythm to this thing. You know, just, it is, it's just that's what makes this thing really upbeat. I guess I could actually do it on the drum set now. And apparently that thing goes away once you go back in the water. So just bear in mind with that. the red point, okay. Oh, you have, oh, you have another string of coins right here. Okay, that's nice. So I'm going to go back up there and maybe I'll try to get another uh, another red coin. Um, actually, let's go for this. You know, another one all, all the way out in the corner because that one this pole kind of you know, came to me first. And oh yeah, I, I forgot. There's actually like a, a ton of blue coins you can use to get over there. It's gonna take three poles to do that, but all right. So I'm in this blue switch right here. You get all the like, six blue coins right there. Be careful not to fall off. They give you just enough time to make sure you do that. Um, so if I can... Uh, I'm gonna get that red coin over there.
so I'm at 91 coins. Maybe I might want to go to the other side, back over to the other side and see which coins am I missing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, swim back over there because maybe those coins are in fact needed. The ones that are the the one that I couldn't get because of the uh, the oh yeah this yep this is it this is it right here. I can just don't don't get me in there. Okay, thank you. All right, 94 coins. Where could six more possibly be? Another down current? No, I don't think that's the place to find a coin. Uh huh. But I think we'll just um, go right back on over to the other side again because I'm sure there's going to be more coins over there than I missed. Otherwise, okay, I'm coming back over here. Ah, here it is. Here's the place, so it's right by the current over here. It'll take you outside of the castle if you get into it, so be very careful not to go into it, okay? Strong current, so power swim. Apparently I only got one of these coins and I'm getting about to be, you know, get uh, sucked out of the level, so... Let's, let's use the metal cap, okay? Please, please long jump. Okay, that was a... <laughs> That was a failed long jump right there, but uh, I think we can still get up to 98 coins. Because there's one more red coin that I missed for sure, so if I can just get 98 coins out of this alone, and I did it, I should be all good to go. So we can just go back to the, the pole jumps, and um, hopefully that way I would... Uh, Hopefully that way I'll actually get the, the last red coin and get the 100 coins once and for all. Yeah. Alright, let's get back on these steps here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I kind of have to lay a little bit low on this one. Woo. And I got it, 100 coins. Why would I run for the moon? And, okay, I automatically collect the star as I do that. Okay, that works. Here we go. Yeah, that that uh, that actually works with me. No problem. No problem here. So I'll take I'll take that. Yeah. I'm just gonna go back over, you know, to the other star that spawned over there and get that one because I know the star appears blue, but that's because that was the eight red coin star, and I already collected that one back during my project days. So this time I'm just gonna go ahead and just collect it, and then that'll take us out of the level. Alrighty, so I think that takes care of that for Dire Dire Docks. 100 coins. And uh, I'll see you back here later for another mission.